Cloudinary, and I guess also lots of people in the room, we are relying a lot on open source software. And for this reason, we are very happy and honored to be able to contribute back to the free and open source community. Whether it is by contributing patches and fixes to existing projects or releasing our own uh, projects as free and open source software. And on the other hand, we're also participating in standards activities um, to improve the open standards that exist around internet, the web, and image formats, and maybe in the future also video formats. And I want to talk uh, about one of these uh, efforts we're doing in improving the, the open standards that are available. So I am a member of the JPEG committee. JPEG committee is the committee that 25 years ago, or 27 years ago, uh, developed the JPEG format. And about a year ago, a year and a half ago, the JPEG committee launched this call for proposals to start working on a new image format that has the ambition to replace JPEG as the image format for the web. Uh, so they call it JPEG Excel, and they launched a call for proposals. And in response to this call for proposals, seven proposals uh, were submitted. I submitted one of them. And the JPEG committee decided that there was sufficient interest to, to, to keep going with this activity, so they created the JPEG Excel ad hoc group, uh, of which I'm currently a co-chair. And they started looking at the proposals, looking at the pros and cons of everything, and basically we eliminated some proposals and took two of the original proposals as a starting point for developing JPEG Excel. And these two proposals are Google's PIC image format, which is developed by a team in Zurich, and Cloudinary's FWIF proposal, or I like to call it FWIF, which is the free universal image format. And so basically a combination of these two uh, proposals is the starting point for JPEG Excel, but we are still working on it, we're still developing this, and we hope that JPEG Excel will become even better than just the sum of these two. So what is JPEG Excel? Uh, I will talk more about this tomorrow, but I just want to give you a, a bit of a teaser. So JPEG Excel is a format that is going to be responsive by design. It will focus on high quality. It's going to be a universal format, and it will also be legacy friendly. I will just try to explain two of these things. There will be a more detailed talk on this tomorrow. But about responsive by design, what does it mean? So currently, we have so many different devices on which we're looking at images, and the current approach is basically to create a lot of files, a lot of variants for every image, because you need the image at various resolutions. So maybe you have a very small, low-quality image placeholder that is just a few hundred bytes. Maybe you have an image that is quite a bit larger for, uh, for a phone, and even larger for, say, uh, a, a big uh, 8K or 4K uh, display. So you need all these variants. Uh, and having a lot of variants is problematic in terms of storage, it's problematic in terms of CDN cache behavior. Uh, so the idea in a responsive by design image format is that you can use a single file for all of these variants, and you just take the first part of the file to get the lower resolution version of the image, and if you need more resolution, you need to download more of this file. But even the low quality image placeholder can be just the first 200 bytes or so of this big file. The other aspect of JPEG Excel is that it's going to be legacy friendly in the sense that it will 
considered the old JPEG format as like a special friend. So it's not necessary to convert your JPEG back to pixels and then encode it as JPEG Excel. You can directly convert a JPEG to JPEG Excel. And this has the advantage that we can guarantee that the JPEG Excel version of your existing JPEG files will always be smaller, which is not the case for other formats. If you convert a low quality JPEG to a PNG or a WebP, it will usually be larger than the original. Uh, so in JPEG Excel, we can make this process reversible. So you can go back from the JPEG Excel you created to the JPEG in case you have legacy clients that don't know how to decode the JPEG Excel. We can get guaranteed byte savings, and we can even improve the visual quality of these existing JPEG files by using more advanced uh, decoding uh, techniques. And so this image on the right, it can actually also look like this based on the same original JPEG file, uh, so reducing the, the color banding and the blockiness that is so typical of the legacy JPEG format. Uh, 